Happy Saturday, Virgo. Happy Saturday. Thank you for joining me today for this reading. I took a few days off from you guys because I just needed to take a break. It's a lot of stuff going on in my life, a lot of stuff going on at work, and I just needed to decompress, okay? So this is going to be a love reading. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much. If you have been around for a while, I appreciate it. Uh, love reading. What's your message? When it comes to love, is love coming your way? Are you done with love? We'll see. I have the fool and I have the, the nine of wands. All right. I just heard you're wounded, but you're progressing. You're wounded, but you're progressing. You're moving forward here in your life, no matter what aspect it is. All right. There's, you know, you've been, obviously you've been through a lot. I got the king of wands. So there could be someone special, king or queen, of wands coming into your life if you know if you're ready for it got to give it a chance first you know um but you've been through a lot you've been very resilient but also resistant to change resistant to love resistant to relationships but you're moving forward you're making progress the energy right now it's like you're completing one life cycle all right and you're headed toward meeting a new person we got lovers at the bottom of the deck okay so we got lovers but we also have the world so as well as the ace the eight of cups so i feel like this is the energy your movement this movement this is the current movement that you're in it's like you're packing up all of the things that you've experienced in your past and you learn from them okay and you're you're headed toward progress in love all right hmm. i'm hearing one moment in time by witness by whitney houston one moment in time living in death whatever i'll put this on in the comments okay one moment in time moving on to the yin to your yang moving on to your significant other and it's not too far away the the path between you all i just heard the path to glory is not too far away it's like it's getting closer and closer it's the, the earth is closing up closer and it's going to bring you closer and closer together okay i feel like it's it, it all is coming together for you little by little and they're not too far off all right they're not too far off literally okay they possibly are a prince fan maybe you love prince favorite color could be purple they uh you possibly dress a certain way or work in costume design or doing something to where you are making yourself more beautiful more handsome you know how to put yourself together you know that's your gift you you put yourself to, together quite well possibly love uh decorating or something maybe they do uh, this person could be very attracted to you um you could have actually two people who you're attracted to but one of them you may not want all right you may not be interested in them as much as they're interested in you this could be someone from the past like coming back at the exact same time or almost at the same time as somebody brand new but whoever this person is they are fiery okay very attracted to you you could be dealing with sagittarius leo okay aries very hot 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 energy passion okay Ooh, I just want to just mm, 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 do some things to this sexy Virgo maiden or this sexy Virgo king. Take how it resonates. All right. They're very attracted to you. Now, I did some readings, some self pulls last night. It's quite kept coming out. But I'm a Virgo, whatever. But there could be somebody who's who's looking at you right now. Or, or I really don't feel like this energy is too far off for you to meet this person, this this gentleman or this fair maiden. All right. Very nice looking person. Very, very ugh, intense. Very good to look at. Very, very nice to look at. All right. But you got this ex uh, who's who's possibly wanting to knock on that door again, too. But you ain't interested. You're done. All right. I feel like they're wanting to all of a sudden come back and offer you something. Now you want to offer me your, your rusty ass cup of love. I'm not interested. I don't want that. You know, you didn't keep me when you had me. You know, you didn't. It's like you're ignoring them. You know, they're you know, ignoring their advances. There, there's nothing that you can say or do to make me want to be with you again. That's the past. I've grown. I've gotten over you. I've packed up the past and I've buried it. All right. So there's no sense in you even think of coming back. There's no no sense in you thinking the shoulda, coulda, woulda. Because right now you're headed toward a, uh, a connection that's much, more, much, much more intense, loving and caring, um, deep. All right. This is somebody you can enjoy your life with, a stable connection. 
all right, that's coming into your life. This person um, from the past, now they want a, a, a connection with you. Now they want something serious, but it's too late now, okay? I've moved on. I've gotten over you. I've grown. I've learned so much from me, okay, from knowing what I want to accept and what I will not accept, all right? So this connection that's coming to you, like I said, you've been through a lot in your past life, but this is completion. This is you finding that inner strength and their persistence to move on in your life, in your love life, and you're surrendering to the passion, the passionate that this that the passionate connection, uh, Virgo, that's coming your way. All right. I just think this person is going to find you uh, absolutely stunning. Okay. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely handsome. Okay. And they could have a little money in their pocket. Okay. Um, that could definitely, and this could be a, a relationship that's really rich in love, honor, trust, respect, mutual, um, give and take here. Okay. This could bring you so much. And, and this person's coming in your life. They're going to court you. It's not going to be, um, a, it's not going to be like hit it and quit it. They're going to take you out. Okay, who? Okay, I'm hearing, can I take you out tonight? Um, can I? Oh, um, Luther Vandross. Sorry, I'll put that song in the comments. Can I take you out tonight? So I'm going to put both of those songs one moment in time. And can I take you out tonight? They're going to take you out. They're going to court you. It's going to be like an old fashioned love, an old fashioned rom romance. I wouldn't be surprised if you meet this person within the next four months. You may meet this person online. Okay. Um, I just see initial C and M, but when I see this, I see a, uh, envelope. So you may meet this person online. Maybe, maybe not take it how it resonates with you. Um, or this is where you will communicate more. So like text messages or something, maybe they work a lot of hours and, oh, I sincerely doubt that this is going to work out. I don't know if this is going to work for me, you know, but I feel like they're very, I heard very cordial. They're very, very, um, respectful. You know, that's the person that'll open the door for you, pull out the chair for you. Okay. They love to romance you. They love to, to be with you and only you. It's, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful connection. I feel that's, that's coming your way. And like I said, this person can have a little bank, a, a little money in the bank. All right. Um, you can meet this person between four and 11 months, less than a year. Okay. We got 11, seven and four. Okay. Could be three months. It's closer than you think. Uh, you've been through a lot, though. I feel like this person loves music. They love to dance. They love fashion. Maybe you love fashion, a fast, a fast fashionista or something like that. Okay, um, but the cycles in your life are changing. Everything in your life is changing. Okay, the decisions that you're making, you're possibly making some huge decisions. Maybe to relocate from one town to another, from one job to another. And opening yourself up for love, for relationships, because you've learned so much. We got the full card. That's the first card we we see here. You know, stepping out in faith, and you know, we're saying, "I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to give myself a chance at happiness. You know, at something good. You know, opening up yourself to say, you know what, I could do this. You know, I can put myself out there. I can make the decision to say, you know what, I'm going to grow in love. I'm going to grow into this relationship. There are infinite possibilities here. There's a room for you to travel. This person possibly likes traveling. He or she will be in the state that you live in or vice versa. That's how you two will meet. Getting out and about, there's new beginnings here for you. Having this youthful energy to enjoy your life because you've been through so much. You've come uh, through so many different trials and tribulations. You're headed into this relationship, this love, this infinite wisdom that's coming your way with this person. They're going to bring in a wealth of information into your life. All right. They're going to to pick you up and they're not going to hinder you. Uh, they're going to grow along with you. Grow old along with me. The best is yet to be. I'll put that song. Karen Shaping Carpenter, I believe. Grow old along with me. The best is yet to be. Wow. Y'all yeah, put that in the comments. They want to grow old along with you. When they see you, they know that they're going to want to grow old with you. Okay. They're mildly though. They love to talk, but they're all up in their feelings. They're not afraid to share their feelings and emotions with you. All right. I also, also heard their love. They love to pray. They're very spiritual. Maybe you all will, will pray together. All right. Um, I just see you all spending a lot of time get to get to getting to know each other. I think that you will know that this person has money by the way they dress. They love the way they dress is eclectic. The way they, they dress like they're going to work 
seven days a week, even on a casual day, they dress nice. They dress to impress, but they dress to impress themselves. This is just who they are. They love to 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 dress nice. They love to smell good. You know, you hold me like, oh, you smell good. Mm, mm, mm. It smells so good. And people will mistake this person as being bougie. They're not bougie. That's just who they are. Okay, male or female. They love to look good. All right, they love to look the part. They may own their own business or have a stake in some sort of big company. All right. I go to love reading. Family room. Okay. Excuse me. Family room. There, like I said, there could be. A, they have. They could have a nice house. The inside of the house look nice. Maybe yours very eclectic, nice looking. I think that there's something that you all will have. You you will have in common. You love to to live in a nice place. You love to have nice digs, nice places. Um, expenses, you know, very materialistic, but not in a negative way. You know what you like, you know what you don't like, okay? Having a very nice home. You have a nice home, they have a nice home, but when you come together, super bad, super good, okay? You know what I'm saying? Bad is good. Your bad is good here, you know? Just, just amazing the way you can put some things together, okay? Possibly love plants. I'm hearing botany. Maybe they're studying plants. Maybe they have a degree or they just know how to take care of plants. You do possibly love gardening or something like that. Something that you all are going to have in common is really, really going to stand out to you and to them. Oh, child. Ooh. Got a couple here for show, for show, for show. That's my man. That's my woman. Okay. That's Angela. That's Angelo or whatever. It'll be Angelo. Okay. Um, Brown sugar, brown sugar, babe. I put this on in the comments. Okay, yeah. So they're gonna like you and and very attractive. They're gonna think you're very attractive, and you're gonna think that they are very attractive. The first thing they're gonna do is give you a flower. It doesn't have to be a rose. It could be a tulip. It could be anything. A sunflower, whatever. But they're gonna think, oh, I want to make her happy. I want to impress her. I want to impress him every time they see me. Okay. If they think that you're stunning, that you're gorgeous, that you're beautiful, that you're handsome, okay, that you are so easy on the eyes, that's the thing about it. They're, they're just going to be impressed by how you look, all right, by how you carry yourself. I've never seen, I met anybody as stunning as this. I can't believe this person just fell into my lap, okay? So they're going to be impressed by you, impressed by your appearance, impressed by how you carry yourself. And, and that's so amazing, all right? I just think that this is going to be a connection that you won't soon forget. It's just something about the way they look at you. Um, oh, gosh. A Jermaine Jackson song? Oh, it's, love, it's easy because you're beautiful. Was that it? Something like that. But they, they um, it's easy to look at you because you're beautiful. It's easy to look at you because you're stunning to them. You're absolutely amazingly gorgeous to this person. All right. And it's like, I can't believe I, I stepped into this abyss of beauty, of, of amazement, of love with this dear Virgo. Mm -hmm. It's going to be passion in the bedroom, Virgo. You're going to be riding. <laughs> You're going to be riding a pony. Okay. You're going to be climbing that tall glass of water sometime soon. It's not going to be far away at all. Okay. Uh, how is this connection going to end up? Um, I'm actually going to go to a, the matinee of the, of the movie Tarot. I'm going to come back and finish up my readings, but I wanted to see what that movie was about. But so have you saw the movie yet? Are you thinking about seeing that movie to Oh, so let me know. What's the outcome of this connection coming your way? What is the outcome for Virgo? This is a gift of love. A beautiful gift of love coming your way, Virgo. And absolutely, and I told you, they're going to find you absolutely stunning when they meet you, when they see you. They're going to know that you are the one for them and that they're wanting to spend the rest or they that, that they want to and will spend the rest of, of their lives with you. Because the song I'm hearing, like I said, Grow Old Along With Me, the best is yet to be Karen Shape and Carpenter. They're going to love you, okay? You're going to be the gift to them, and they're going to be the gift to you. The gift of love, a beautiful, absolutely, amazingly, a beautiful connection coming your way. The connection that's going to last you a lifetime, Virgo. All right, talk to y'all later.